Uh, bad call, but go for it. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> so we're just gonna jump right into it, huh? Something's gonna get real fucked up. We are drinking whiskey. I put gin on top of my gin. Giggling about bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> You shaped your nuts act to play it with the void? <laughs> oh my god, we're recording. I'm trying to fill the void. <laughs> That's what you want. An alabaster smooth penis. <laughs> Zig and Larry ignore a topic. <laughs> Uh, Eric, thanks for having me on your show. Uh, Welcome, the, meat catchers. For the, <laughs> damn it. for those of you who can't see me being, what's going on being everybody but me in this world, Larry and I do this over over the computer system, and I uh, just turned on the call. He is wearing a coonskin cap and aviators. Uh, he's holding what appears to be some manner of brony wand. It's a uh, it's a unicorn on a stick, but just the head bit. And he's managed to get himself bathed in nothing but really disturbing red light, as if he was a hooker in Amsterdam, staring out the window, hoping for a tenor. I'm also shirtless. <laughs> I couldn't actually tell that with the light and the, where the camera is. Okay, uh, well... I can't tell which way my opinion of you went. Up, down, or just plain butt-fuck sideways. <laughs> I just figured it hit a middle. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Status quo cheap, pal. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> buddy. Oh, wow. So that's why we're a few minutes late, because you had to put on a costume. I really... Skype was being a bitch. It took a second to, to get connected and everything. This was prepared. I was ready to go. Uh... I don't, I don't know what to do with this. I mean, I'm gonna bathe it. I'm gonna just bathe it. I'm gonna just take it all in. I'm gonna probably start writing fan fiction, some manner of haiku, but a, a sonnet. A sonnet. I don't know if I got a sonnet in me right now, pal. <laughs> well, well, this is my trusty steed butt chugging. <laughs> easy, uh, easy butt chugging. Oh. It makes a goddamn easy, mess. easy boy. Oh, that's the that's the head on a stick making that noise. I'm uh, I'm drinking uh, the silver bullet. I have had oh, uh, plenty of gin. Uh, good, good. My my wife went to go help her her sister and brother in law uh, to move, and so I am all alone, all alone. <laughs> Your wife went to go help people move. So you, the man who can lift 200 pounds for no reason, decided to take your shirt off, put on a coonskin cap, cock it, ace, deuce, and play with a horse on a stick. Well, I do. I had some uh, some some shows scheduled for the weekend, so she decided since I had shows scheduled that I'm covering up uh, butt chugging's eyes so he doesn't try to get away. He uh, he gets wild. Um, uh -huh. But uh, so she was like, I'm going to go visit my sister, and then they bought a new house, and so she's going to help them. And uh, I'm uh, I'm here in the house alone. <laughs> I'm doing fine. You, you know what's really disturbing? Yeah. For not just me, but us in general. Uh -huh. How how quickly this just became my norm for the night. Yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, so this has happened. <laughs> that's it, and I knew that's what would happen. Like, I, I wanted I wanted your reaction to to this whole thing, mm -hmm. this whole thing. I wanted that, and then I knew immediately he'd be like, eh, I've seen worse out of him. I've seen worse. Uh, recently. I, uh, mm -hmm. You're like... Easy, you're like a, easy boy. A Daniel Bone and Freddie Mercury. <laughs> We're somehow in the Hadron Collider. Easy, easy boy. Easy. Would you fucking quell your steed, please? I'm, get to the corral. Get to the corral. 
I don't even know if quells a word in a bit. Like, like, it is. You did, oh, but, you did well. That uh, that liberal arts degree is really serving you well. Hey, making that degree work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been back at work for the last two weeks, and boy, am I using the hell out of that degree. <laughs> yeah. Back, back to work, I mean, I'm going to my kitchen table, and instead of just crying and drinking beer and coffee, I'm turning on the computer to cry and drink beer and coffee. Oh! Getting out of the for it. That's what I've been doing too. I'm glad we're now in the same boat. Well, yeah, at least you work for the government. That, that makes good sense. Oh yeah, let's not tell anybody that. No, I didn't say in what capacity. Yeah, it's uh, if if the uh, the government had a division where they just said your turn in the barrel. That's my job. <laughs> That's fantastic. For some reason, my brain just literally just went to like a bingo thing. <laughs> like, sh -sh 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 -sh. And okay, I got nothing right now. I don't know. Uh, shit on the poor. Uh, thirteen. Shit on the poor. Thirteen. <laughs> uh, I drew that one today. I'm sorry. Let me do some back of the napkin on that joke. I'll get back to you on it. <laughs> oh, how's it going, buddy? It's good, pal. Uh, we're gonna have to make this quick. My battery's only at ninety-two percent. Well, we'll uh, we'll I'll do my <laughs> best to pay attention to the time. <laughs> Dude, this fucking computer is so old. It's like Don Rickles on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Get it going. It's got a decent clip for a very short period of time, and then it's just downhill immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna insult you real good for a short period of time, but then I need to go take a nap. And then I will be the last official customer of Life Alert. <laughs> oh, God. What are you drinking there? Well, I just finished that glass of wine. And I totally forgot to wait to do my joke. Because um, that's actually a glass of rosé. And I don't care what you say. It's goddamn delightful. It is. It's delicious. Uh, I just had, had a lovely uh, summer dinner. So I was finishing up my rosé. And this is my next one. This is a Goza, or Goz, a German sour beer from... Oh, shit. Germany? From um, German style, from Chicago, from a place. I don't recall off the top of my head. Um, however, I wanted to do this whole thing because I, I was going to put one in each hand because this one, they're both pink in color. I was going to say I'm double fisting the pink. Uh, it's not the so first time. I'm just going to throw that joke completely away, so I'm over too. Look, I remember the Halloween you dressed up as, as uh, Hugh Hefner. I know what happened. Oh, that was a good night. That was college. Yeah, it was a good night for you. Yeah, you know what the key of that costume was? The Polaroid camera. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, and that was the night that uh, I, I was working s security, but you had to talk to the cops. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Nothing was really thought out, I would say, for the majority of our lives. I mean, up until today. It, pretty much, hey, you want to you record at 7.30? Yes, that's, yeah. that's as far as our plans go. There's a whole lot of hold my beer and watch this going on. I'm amazed that we haven't lost limbs due to fire. Um, you know, it's like our crushing. Yeah, I. Well, I mean, our freshman year, I fell into a bonfire. I had managed to drink that away. Thanks for bringing it right back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Paul, my synapse is still firing. <laughs> they done dry humped until I had a memory. <laughs> you smell burnt toast? Am I having a stroke? No, honey, that's just your brain kicking back on. It's fine. It was just made in the seventies. It's still very analog. You know what I mean? It smells like a space heater when you haven't used it for an entire season. <laughs> <laughs> Like when you turn the furnace on for the first time in the winter, you're like, are we on fire? Is that just how it's supposed to smell? Does your house always smell like a box of cereal that's smoldering? <laughs> Regrettably, yes. Uh, it's really upsetting in August. <laughs> but you get used to it. You do get used to it. And it really covers up the smell of the shit dying in the walls. So that kind of, <laughs> you pick your poison. You pick your poison around here. Uh, you spend a lot of time with your head out the window. I would suggest that just for the natural gas issue that we've all noticed. Do you like uh, the smell of rot, or do you like the smell of burnt cereal? 
<laughs> for those of you who have listened to more than one podcast, we also hang our heads out the window. The train is also an issue, so you can't hear or smell anything but around here. That drags the breeze through. That's what keeps mo- the air moving. Did I tell you that we our proximity to the train has actually knocked shit off the walls? I have no doubt. Because I, well, I kept thinking you had like some type of, of, of thunder and lightning machine that you were playing with every time until you were like, that's the train. And I was like, well, I'm dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I do have that. It's run by Lori Lightfoot. Uh, <laughs> She's just out there pushing it. <laughs> if she needs to, I dig her. I like her a lot. I do too. Uh, but uh, no, we've got... I don't have holes in this wall because it's exterior and uh, it's like it's it's brick, you know what I mean? It's just like kind of painted, so I don't want to put holes in whatever. So I've got those. Um, it's brick with. It's really weird. It's like this really thin. It's not exactly drywall, not exactly artboard, but over it. So you can't you can't put a nail. Is what I'm saying. It goes in the quarter of an inch, and then you hit brick. Yeah. So we've got those command hook things on there. Oh, those do bang up crackerjack jobs of knocking your shit on the floor. They're in a little bit of a tussle. A <laughs> tussle. <laughs> I just I just got in a tussle with the train. Oh, this is topical, which is so it's going to be completely worthless by the time this airs. But did you see, speaking of Lightfoot, um, the press secretary, who I'm guessing will have quit or will be fired by the time this actually airs, she said something derogatory to Lightfoot about the way that she's running the city, and her response over Twitter was just, hey, Karen, watch your mouth. Oh, (laughs) shit. But what his name was Kayla. She called her a Karen. Yeah. And told her to watch your mouth. You know what? You don't mess with Auntie Lori. Oh, that is no, no. I would. That, that is a that that's a, a a girl that ran the streets. Excuse me, that's a lady that ran the streets. I do not yeah. mean to insult her. She'll come to your house. Doesn't matter if you're not in her city. Yeah, yeah. She'll come to your house to make sure that you're inside. I nearly yeah. knocked with the microphone over. Her. That's where all that scraping sound was. Well, we got issues upon problems, man. I think we just truck through. Just calling myself out. Hey, this episode brought to you by Coors Light. Coors Light, it's the right beer now. Please, please drink responsibly as you're chugging the silver bullet to make sure that the taste of the world that is on fire gets just washed on down. Reading this copy is getting harder and harder because those people... Uh, it's getting they're demanding. Commercial. They're just trying to keep up with the times. Coors Light, Did, could you imagine the apocalypse being like this? This is what happens when some idiot's nephew gets to write the copy for the podcast uh, kind of commercials. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's great. A friend of mine today has just sent me a text, and he's like, I always thought the apocalypse would be like Gears of War. Turns out it's like the Andromeda strain. <laughs> Dude, you're not kidding. I was so prepared for the end of the world. I wanted to be Mad Max. I wanted to live a life where I could look at a little person and say, feed you feed that guy to the pigs. I wanted that to be walk away from the gasoline. Just walk away. We were gonna be Master Blaster. Yeah, we had a great plan, and now I'm just walking around looking like a broke dick Lone Ranger, and nobody's afraid of me robbing the Aldi as I just cry with my beer belly. So I'm sorry, I'll wait outside until there's only forty people in there. Oh, look, cilantro's on sale. Now, do I come in? No, no, I don't come in now. I stay outside. Okay, I stay outside. Yeah, we all we all look like like uh, Snake Eyes' effeminate brother wearing these masks. <laughs> <laughs> I did for a while. I was trying to rock the bandana look. The I'm getting that day stagecoach look. It's uh, there's just so many levels of sad with everything I got going on. There's gold on that train. I've got the uh-huh. coonskin cap to sell that voice. Look at me, I'm like, I'm just gonna grab it and put it up here. Just tuck here's, it in. Here's, you know what, I refuse to tell people what you're talking about. <laughs> just grab it and tuck it in. Grab it, tuck it in back here. <sighs> hey, so what are we ignoring today? Because we're ignoring the hell out of it. Hey, I think we should talk about our favorite, best, worst movies of the of the 80s. Favorite best worst movies of the eighties, like the worst movies of the eighties, like that that the reviews are for shit, but we love them. Oh, vamp! Because I have to find out when this movie was made. Hold on, the vamp <laughs> there's no business like show business <laughs> like no business I know. That was the best Ethel Merman you'll hear from a man <laughs> my age. 1981. It's a winner. 
My, don't know if this fits your parameters, but I don't give a shit because it is one of my, if not my favorite movie of all time. Ooh. Time Bandits. <laughs> oh, but that's like a legit good movie. It is not. <laughs> it, well, it depends on your... If, if, I mean, it's not Schindler's List. I'm, oh, hey, we just turned on the real light there. We got rid of the red light. Hold on, hold on. I'm just changing, <laughs> I'm just changing colors. <coughs> there you go. Just bathe yourself in something that isn't hideous. Yeah, bright green. There you go. Perfect. What? How do you have this ability I, uh, in front of your desk? I don't want to know what you're doing with your life. I'm just, I have a deal. Look, it's the blue light special. <laughs> That's great. Mm. That's just... Mm. God, and the... He's dancing, and there's no shirt. Yeah, but you can't see my nips, so it's PG-13. No, but I just drew them on the bottom of my <laughs> keyboard here. So I guess I'm getting the full effect. It's fine. I'm so uh, lonely. Quit putting your nipples in front of the camera. People can't say, actually, you, that's probably a good thing. Oh, I wish I had more beer. Why don't you have more beer? You know what I did? I I brought myself a beer and a koozie to keep it cool down here in, in the Danger Dungeon. Yeah, I thought the wine would last me longer. But what are you going to do? Time Bandits is fantastic. Of course that's your favorite. You have a penchant for little folk. I have a appreciation and love for. That movie has everything. It's got Sean Connery. You it's just started that like you were Stefan from SNL. <laughs> This movie I, has everything. I, you know what? I stumbled upon it, so I'm going to do it. If you're in the mood <laughs> for a movie that'll make your brain go, oops, I farted. <laughs> it's got to see time back. It's got everything. It's got little people with British accents. John Connery. John Cleese. A whole bunch of fart jokes. And it makes no sense. There's the devil and pure evil which looks like a turd. It's fantastic. British accents. They run. They work for God and they run away from him. It's so... Oh, God. Uh, when we had... <clears throat> this is how old we are. When I was growing up in the itty-bitty town that I grew up in, <clears throat> the only place... You could rent movies was from a little room in the bowling alley in my little hometown. That little room had a little room in the back that I wasn't allowed to go to, and there was literally just a sheet tacked up to the wall hanging over it. Did the old man did that room more than once. Didn't Quimby, or was it Jason that stole a movie from that back room that we were all none were supposed to see? Uh, I think it was a rite of passage. I would say we all did at some point. Yeah. But I used to make the old man rent Time Bandits once a week. On Betamax, <clears throat> because we were still rocking that before. Oh, oh before my before God! Beta you had a Betamax? No, he, the old man bought it right when Betamax and VHS were towing it out, and he just backed the wrong fucking pony, you know? Yeah. Oh God, dude, it's so, it's just fantastic. There's the whole scene where they're dancing and singing in front of Napoleon. Yes. I just see the absolute bejesus out of each other, and oh God, what's his name? The guy that played Napoleon. He was the guy that played um, Bilbo. Um, oh, um, uh, he just passed away recently. Great actor. Shit, what does he Oh, uh, Ian Holm? Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. He recently uh, passed away. Yeah. Uh, spectacular actor, but he played Napoleon in that. He's in it. Holy God. I don't know where Sean Connery shows up and gives, like, a dramatic performance as I believe Agamemnon, if I'm not correct. He's so better at what he can. It's just so wackadoodle. It is. It is fantastic. And the outfits that they put, the, the, the guys that steal the map of the universe, they're just, like, in random weird hats and just, like, a smattering of stuff from the ages. Uh, so what you're saying is in this get-up, I could be a time bandit. You absolutely could. There's a little person named Berman who eats live things. That's his whole bit of the movie. He just finds a chicken and starts chewing on it. He eats rodents when they're trapped by the devil. It makes no sense. Oh, God, it's great. Now I have to watch it again. I've owned it on... Uh, VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and I bought it on digital. <laughs> that is, uh... I think that's a lie. I don't think they ever did release it on Blu-ray for obvious reasons. <laughs> it wasn't worth the money. <laughs> but everything else is correct. But if they did, I would own that motherfucker! Can't re you can't fucking wear out a DVD. <laughs> oh, the Time Bandits. Perfect. The Time Bandits is a great movie. I remember... 
forcing my dad, who we've talked about, I forced my dad to watch Time Bandits over and over again because my really? aunt, so here's what we my aunt and uncle we we lived out in the middle of the sticks I I know shocker shirtless mm-hmm. coonskin cap mm. you mm. can take the boy out of the sticks but you just end up putting him in Jerome Illinois that's, that's right big, unincorporated Springfield <laughs> a village and we're goddamn proud of it we got a <laughs> moat all the way around us we're ready to defend you live right next to the crick man yeah we do we live next to a crick mm-hmm. um uh, well you know it's just for my own it makes me feel comfortable but yeah my my aunt and uncle because we we lived out in the middle of nowhere we had no like we had three channels on a good day mm-hmm. cbs nbc pbs we didn't even get ABC, and so my aunt and uncle lived in in town, quote unquote town, which was Blue Mound, Illinois, which was like twenty five minutes outside of Decatur. Okay. So, and it's a tiny town, but it's still more town than what you know than living in the middle of nothing like we did and so they had hbo <laughs> it's, it's more town than a hole in the mud yes it's more town than than is that a house don't go up there don't get that old man smith's up there that's that's more town mm-hmm. and so they would record movies on on vhs tapes and it would be um three movies on each tape they would record them off hbo Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, and then they would just send like a box of them home. So my dad would go like because he worked for the for the railroad, went up to Decatur, um, meet up with my uncle. My uncle would just hand him a box of movies, and we'd have movies to watch. And Time Bandits was on one of those those tapes, uh, and I made my dad watch that that fucked up. A d- Lilliputian Doctor Who, over and over again, and and he just did not get it, and I didn't either. But I loved it. It was such a great movie. I've got nothing on Doctor Who before the the reboot, and I I don't really have a whole lot on it. To, if I'm totally honest, I'm I've watched enough to know, ish. But like the original ninety five British people with different outfits that played Who, I have no idea. I I don't I I I can't tell you Nicole my husband Nicole as we've mm-hmm. established yeah um he's a handsome woman yeah he is a handsome woman that's the kind of woman you want on the prairie with you on the frontier someone who can squirt out a baby and churn butter at the same time just hand the little one to the big one and say take care of it paws out in the field fighting jaguars. <laughs> I love that you forced yourself to do that in one breath and damn near ran out on the fucked up pronunciation of Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. So Jaguar, I mean, I used to if you want to it. <sighs> Did it. I'm a wasn't professional. It wasn't worth it. I'm we, a professional. We used to get those um, uh, VHF tapes from uh, a friend of my dad's too, but we used to get like, uh, they used to do Fraggle Rock was on HBO. Oh, yes. So we used to get that, but uh, my dad's buddy Phil was interesting, and I will love him to the end of the earth because on one of them, it was always just Fraggle Rock, but on one of them, and then he did it like twice, um, but he just slipped in like an old school from the 80s George Carlin stand up. I'm Fraggle Rock age, I'm watching Carlin from the 80s. <laughs> oh, God. That's Down on it. Fraggle Rock, these motherfuckers. <laughs> it's shit like this, which is why I would never be able to get into the Wonder Years. You know, you watch that, like, what is this pansy bullshit? Put Garland on. <laughs> I want to hear a guy call the government a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch some Fraggles get chased by some trash heap monsters. And then I want to hear an old man scream about equi- inequality. Please. What's going on with eight-year-old Adam? I'm not sure, but he's watching Archie Bunker rerun screaming at the TV. You're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with him, but he really doesn't want to play wiffle ball. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> he just keeps screaming, nobody gets the joke! <laughs> 
He's not the hero. He's the ass. Nobody gets the joke. He keeps calling the dog a Polak. <laughs> he hasn't called his father anything but meathead for a year. <laughs> Oh, fantastic! Yeah, all day. And then, oh God, uh, I don't know if this does this count. Weird science. I think that was another one that was con it's considered like a cult classic. But God, I love that movie. I yeah. really love that movie. I mean, come on, I that that I think that movie when I watched it, like again on bootleg VHS, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what made me go, oh yeah, I like those. Dude, I saw that movie. I I want to say within the same month as I saw Trading Spaces or Trading Places. Oh, uh, Trading Places! God. Oh God! And those were the first movies we ever we ever did see. I think I definitely like. I just gripped my teeth and bared down until I sprouted a pube after watching both of those back to back. <laughs> you can do it too if you care enough. If you have to eat, a, you have to eat a lot of dinty more beef stew. Anything in a can. Yeah. Yeah, and it's you can't warm it up. It's just gonna be straight out of the can, and you mm -hmm. gotta eat it with your fist. You just gotta, just gotta fist it into your face. Absolutely, yeah, and just and whistle while you work, baby. Yeah, because you got it, but you can you can get it done. Yeah. You can absolutely get it done. Kelly LeBrock in that was just. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna be honest. That set a lot of that set a lot of high bars for every relationship I've had for since I've saw that movie. Yeah, uh, dude. For me too. I, I had a hard time finding a woman who could grant me wishes. <laughs> well, my wishes changed over the years. <laughs> yeah, I, I've gotten actually. I've gotten pretty easy. <laughs> I mean, I want a sports car. You go to hell. I'd like butt stuff on my birthday. Eh, we can deal with that. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm hoping you get something in my butt. <laughs> well. I'll uh, I'll rent a car and head up. <laughs> That's what you call a dad joke going bad. <laughs> yeah, we uh so so my car has been in the shop for and it's what's funny is 3 year 3 years ago this week my car was in the shop. Not the Prius, it's such a pussy wagon. <laughs> I got all the pussy I need. What Let's see. What am I? <laughs> you, you have a, you have a Prius with a sledgehammer in the back seat. Yeah, life's about balance. How does a Prius go into the shop? What do you forget to rub it on the carpet enough? Yeah, I didn't put a penny in the back of it to make the front end <laughs> pop up. So uh, fuck you. How about that? <laughs> no, it takes one of those uh, one of those uh, what do you call them? The uh, it's it's one of those B engines for uh, for a model rocket. That's what the B engine. <laughs> I is didn't the, pump the water into it enough. It didn't go. <laughs> Out, and also you're a dick. Uh, <laughs> what, the, the, what, the, the oscillator take a shit and break the collider in that thing? <laughs> yeah, I didn't feed Mister Fusion enough. <laughs> well, if, you know, if your car's gonna take a shit, the pandemic and house arrest is the time to do it. Yeah. Well, that's what I just, I just kept telling the guy. He's like, "You can come pick it up if you want, but we gotta wait for this, this, and this." And I'm like, "It just lives there now. It lives there until you fix it." Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. It just lives there until it it is fixable, and then it and then it comes home to daddy. Wait, so you dropped it off because it's fucked, and the guy said, "Hey, you can come get it whenever you want, but it's not fixed yet." Yeah. Well, that's the thing. We we have a we have a, a warranty on it, and um. They were like, "Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta call the warranty company, and uh, they'll send somebody out." And then the warranty company was supposed to be there, and then they weren't there. And then um, they finally, like, they they showed up like three days later, and they kept saying, "Well, uh, they're not there." And uh, if you want to come get it, you can. And I'm like, "Why would I drive it? It doesn't function correctly. It's yours until then." 
<laughs> this just in. Nothing to report. <laughs> so if you'd like to come and pick it up, nothing has happened. Hey, the air conditioning doesn't work, and uh, and there's a couple other things that are kind of fucked on it. You want to drive it around and be miserable for a few days? No, I don't. I can be miserable all on my own. Thank you. Thanks. You said you wanted it uh, deep purple, right? You said something about Prince color. <laughs> what the fuck have you done? I was just bored. <laughs> I don't know. We can't fix the air conditioning. And Jesus, Larry, the red light <laughs> fucked my ass. Come on, man. I, that's what and you that, said you wanted for your birthday. It was a bad ass fuck. Not if this is coming at me. You gotta kill it, man. I can't even make out your features at this point. It's beautiful, isn't it? God, I can't look at this. Jesus, Lord. That's painful. <laughs> God, you look like a, you look like something from the original Star Trek off the fucking cutting room floor. Like, no, this is even too cheap for us. Oh, that's great. Yeah, just do just do a lovely little uh, flower child dance while bathed in this red hideousness. Dude, that's more. How is that more intense than the original? This is what have you done? Don't laugh. You laugh maniacally. And <laughs> either. So not only is it painful on the eyes. God, <laughs> you look like something to keep out of a Hellboy's butt. <laughs> and it wasn't a solid turd either. It was one of those like just little soft serve emojis of blah, 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 blah. Is that better? None of this. No, well, actually, yeah, but not by a whole lot. <laughs> hey, how about we try light? You want to just go with light? That's. This is the point where I learned a very difficult lesson. That lesson was check the memory card. Prior to recording, we actually ran out of memory on the recorder and I had to use the laptop. And so you'll notice that the audio quality sucks out loud going forward. I really apologize and I promise it probably won't happen in the future. Keep in mind that I'm only a half step above a gorilla in an enclosure playing with a speaking spell. Thanks, guys. How about that? Start talking. Hey, here we go. This is me talking. I'm talking at you. Thank Christ that red light is fucking gone because it really was horrible. Yeah, you're right. Hey, there we go. Okay, I fixed it. All right, so uh, we're done with uh, that recorder for now because the card's full. Never. Fuck. But uh, we're going to. The audio quality probably isn't going to be as good, but that's okay. I'm on. The, the damn earbuds that came with my iPhone 8. <laughs> so what the you want from me? <laughs> I'm just yelling at my laptop now. <laughs> it was uh, refurbished. Wait, so wait a minute. So uh, so we lost a little bit there. What was the last thing we said that was gold? Oh, man. That's a great question. Because I glanced... Actually, I don't think we lost anything. I think you had would, you would just said <laughs> that the light was hideous. Okay. Well, and uh, that's when this lit up over here and told me. So, okay, so, so now you're uh, in real light, which is nice. However, without the horse on a stick, without the hat, without the aviators, now you're just shirtless, staring at me in front of your desk. That's right, man. Look at, look at these traps, though. These are god damn it. We're not. I'm, you know, look this at whole that. episode just going to be called Zig. Look at me. Yeah, uh, That's been our entire relationship. Is just, hey Zig, look at me. Jesus Christ! Look at these traps. What the fuck's the matter with you? I drink a lot, and I have daddy issues, <laughs> and also mommy issues, and I'll show issue issues. Uh, uh, your turn, eighties movie. Uh, okay, my favorite, my my favorite worst best. Is has to be Howard the Duck. Uh, see, I want to love hate it so much. I uh, that's one of those that I just have nothing but apathy for. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I know it exists. It's kind of like the thing that's growing on my taint. I know it's not cancer, so I'm not going to have it removed. Sure. But it's just like eh, it's there. It's, you can you only really notice it when you use your shaving mirror in weird ways. See. <laughs> While playing, playing with the boys. While playing, playing with the boys. I'm just going to start calling my weird taint mole Howard the Duck. I, well, it, it, has your weird taint mole ever had sex with Leah Thompson? Uh, not directly. <laughs> I refuse to explain. Uh, no, I really want to love that movie, or at least hate it. 
and I get it. I just don't know what the disconnect is. See, I feel the same way about that movie that my father felt about me. I know I'm supposed to have feelings for it, but oh god, there's just nothing there. We went to a dark place. <laughs> I was going for a cheap laugh for somebody who's holding the razor a little too close right now. <laughs> Down the river, not across the stream, or they'll think you're a put. What was that? <laughs> All right. Uh, another day. We'll give it another shot. Yeah, I see, I loved Howard the Duck when I was a kid. I tried to watch it again, and I was just like, he's... Leah Thompson fucked a duck. Yeah. Like, I, I don't... Look... Look, okay, I'm going to say as a kid that one of the the first scene where Howard gets pulled to our earth okay. and and he goes through the bathroom walls of, of the lady duck and her lady duck tits are out, trust me. I'm going to have to rewatch this. Uh, you know what? I just want to show you the picture. Not because of the lady duck. Actually, yeah, because of the lady duck tits. Why not? You're gonna show me a picture of what you have. You're just gonna. It's, it's I'm just gonna cool. Google it. Uh huh. It's not the it's worst. Like, it's not the weirdest thing I've ever Googled. He's not Googling anything. For those of you who can't see, he's got just this file folder next to his desk. He's just flipping through actual physical pictures of things, and I'm guessing several of them are anthropomorphic animal tits, possibly <laughs> related to Marvel comics. Look, I've seen what you fucked. Don't uh, don't give me shit. And that is not only a lady duck with her tits out drinking in a bathtub. It's a gif of that. <laughs> and her hand's going. I never. I didn't realize where her hand was headed. Oh yeah, she. Wait, wait. Is, is, that, is she stroking a foot, or is she going downtown under the suds? I think she's. Uh, I think she's headed down to the, uh, to the, uh, the, 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 the lady duck uh, mush. Can we call it? I don't even know what to call it. CGI. So there is, at best, a little person inside a costume, or at worst, a child in there. Let's just say little person. Uh, I don't know. The arms are really long. I think it's like a regular person that they put in a, a lady duck uh, costume and said, Hey, you know what would be great? If this lady duck with her, with her, uh, with her honkers out... Just reached down and uh, fiddled with her uh, with her lady duck twat. <laughs> her quack quack twat. So, how would you like to be the guy who works at whatever Edson's fucking studios? And like, uh, what are we gonna make today? Uh, naked anthropomorphic broad duck. <laughs> uh, she's gonna have to have human tits for reasons, by the way. Why does she have human tits? <laughs> that was uh, right. Why does she have human tits? And why does Leah Thompson go, Hey, you know, you're uh, you're an anthropomorphic humanoid duck. You're also three foot tall. But I can't help myself. Put that uh, corkscrew... Does he have a corkscrew dick? That was going to be my next question. Does he have a corkscrew dick? I'm upset. I was actually about to have to ask you if ducks honestly have a corkscrew dick. And I should know that because my high school mascot were the Mallards. Well, I should know everything about ducks. Ducks have corkscrew dicks. Does Howard the Duck have a corkscrew dick? Or because the, that lady duck has her, has her mammalian breasticles out, does that mean Howard has a mammalian style wanger? Who do we pose these questions to outside of reddit because i refuse to try, try that yeah no not on reddit there would be way too much it's just too much racism on reddit and somebody would be like <laughs> look i made a i fucked the duck i made little duck humanoids they got corkscrew dicks and it'd be like i didn't want to know any of that and just if if like the creator of howard the duck could just let us know does he like like in uh, Mall Rats when Brody asks Stan Lee, "Hey, is the things crank made of rocks too?" And Stan's like, mm, "All right, that's enough." But yes, yes, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? A shocking lack of referring to one's penis as a crank in today's day and age. I just recently started uh, reintroducing the phrase "hammer." It's my lexicon. I'm pretty, like, oh, I'm swinging a hammer around this piece. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm throwing some meat around. You looking to catch meat? I'm throwing it. Throw 
Auto hammer style. I'm gonna I'm gonna hammer throw this meat. You better be ready to catch it. <laughs> that was that was the original Olympics. The original like thousands of years ago, the Greeks. Yeah, the Greeks just. That, that's, that's what the hammer throw originally was. They just they just swung their cranks. Just uh, and and somebody was there to catch it. <laughs> Judging by the mosaics, it was just grabbing a young boy by the crank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just a uh, fling. When nepotism goes wrong, it makes them stronger. You know the I think the craziest part about Howard the Duck, besides Leah Thompson fucking a duck. Uh, could, uh, but uh, just, okay, can we talk about Leah Thompson for a second? One. Whatever you want. Moderately attractive. Sure. Like, not someone... If she came up to you at a party and been like, Hey, you want to... I'm ready to catch some meat. <laughs> We'd be like, yay! You're overusing it. You're overusing it. I am not. It is my <laughs> phrase. I will use it as I want. It's our first t-shirt. <laughs> but, but she fucked a duck. <laughs> she tried to fuck her own kid in Back to the Future. Oh yeah. Is there? I, I think we need to actually do a deep dive on Leah Thompson. That sounded there, dirty. That sounded dirtier than I intended. Well, between her and Chris Glover, who I think is just kind of out there, just in general. I think Chris Glover seems weird, but he's probably like the most vanilla fuck on the planet. I don't know, man. Like, I don't think that it's anything like we have to be worried about, like around the kids. And I think that he should be allowed to own pets, but I think that he's the kind of guy who also has been saving his own toenails because he wants to make a bust of, like, Sammy Davis Jr. out of them. <laughs> um, but it's got to be officially one-eighth life size, and he's done the measurement. <laughs> like, it's like, he's not going to show anybody, but he just has to make it. It's a thing that has to happen for him. And so when he dies, someone's going to have to go into his house walk into the quote-unquote showroom and be like, ha, ah, Sammy Day, oh, that's crazy. What is that over there? Ah, oh, it's a yard gnome made out of made, made out of hair. What is that? Yeah, he's just using parts of him that have fallen off to make art in air quotes. Is, the, is that fun. Abe Vigoda out of baby teeth? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> Abe Vigoda out of baby teeth. But yeah, I think we need uh, we need to do a deep dive on Leah Thompson and see she try she fucks a duck, she tries to fuck her kid. Is there anything else weird that Leah Thompson tried to fuck? Hold on, hold on, I got one more before we move on. He purposely has had over the course of his life several uh, different guinea pigs, which he has raised and allowed to die naturally. He kept them, buried them until they were just bones, and then utilized the skeletons to make a replicate of the Last Supper. That's the kind of weirdness that Crispin Glover is. Wait, that's for real? Sure. You see, and people... How would that be real? What the hell's the matter with you? Okay. I'm drunk. <laughs> and I'm alone. <laughs> Look, I called you on Skype shirtless, wearing a coonskin cap and aviators wielding a, a unicorn. Okay, do me a favor. Don't answer any emails right now from princes in Nairobi asking for money. I just want to talk to someone. <laughs> All I need is 10000 in Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't got no Bitcoin, but what I do have is several guinea pig skeletons. Yeah. Was that true? Sure. See, so I do that to pe people all the time. Or like, oh, I wonder what this came from, and I'll just give some bullshit explanation, and they're like, is that real? I'm like, no, and they're like, you motherfucker. And then I just fell for it. I just fell for it. I wasn't even trying to get you to fall for anything. I was just... I know. Um, I know, I'm just stupid. Yeah. Well, we've, we figured it out. The next step is washing it off. <laughs> so this, uh, this koozie came from New Orleans. It was a gift from one of the people that we met the first night we were there that was just like, hey, you guys are going to need some koozies for wandering around. I'll run out to my Jeep and get you some. And this is uh, a koozie from uh, the Chainsmokers concert from October 29th. He 
just opens the the, the, the door to his El Camino and koozies just all out. <laughs> I'm the koozie king of New Orleans. <laughs> There's a hound dog sleeping on top of 38,000 koozies. He's happy and shit. He's insulated. He's having a great time. They're He's comfy. comfy. He rolls up. When he pisses, it just soaks it up. Sometimes he farts, and it's just cute. The dog's name is the Senator. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I gotta get a dog named the Senator now. Uh, I'm stealing that. Uh, last time I was in the uh, the the vet, um, when I could actually go inside the vet, and they were calling animals in. <laughs> a woman just came out who uh, who one of like the vet assistant or uh, labs or whatever they you know vet veterinary assistant. The woman was easily 110. <laughs> she played tetherball with Moses when he was in short pants, and she just, she just came out with a little clipboard, looked around, and goes, "We're ready for." Oh, the senator. <laughs> and a, a man just stood up with a cat in a bag and just walked in the bathroom. <laughs> so like, yeah. Oh, well, she she frowns on this. <laughs> this cat doesn't have a name. He has a title. He apparently won some manner of election. <laughs> I just, were either of them wearing a jaunty hat? No, it was just some dude with a cat in a bag. Like, I love it. Like, yeah, just like one of those duffel bags that, you know, zips up the top and it's got the mesh in the front for carrying the goddamn cat around. Yeah. Because it can't be trusted on a leash. I, well, yeah, well, it's a cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cats will shank you if you're not looking right. Oh, or if you are, and they just feel like it. Yeah. Yeah, cats will... Uh, the, that's the thing, though. Cats, not a narc. No. no. Cats aren't narcs. Dogs? Look, I love dogs. You know I love dogs. Dogs are narcs. Yeah, but they don't know any better. Yeah. They're, they're, they're like, you can good cop, bad cop them all day, and they're going to break real quick. They're like me. Just they just don't know any better. <laughs> well, I was reading this thing not terribly long ago. Big difference, like, why cats are that way, dogs are that way. Humans, we domesticated dogs. Cats kind of did it themselves. Yeah. They just slowly walked into settlement, like, hey, we're going to eat all these mice. Uh, we're going to stick around. <laughs> with your problem now. <laughs> you good with that? Because you're going to be. How about that? Yep. You get no of them. Hey, you. Build a box. I want to shit in it. <laughs> you know what I like saying? Shitting in sand. <laughs> you know what? You know, you don't build me a box to shit in. I'm shitting in your shoe. You can put sand in your shoe. I don't really care what happens here. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Some type of gritty material for me to... To expel waste into, please. Let me tell you this: you are not that big a part of my day. I just want you to know that. How about that? How about how, how you feel about that? Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you know, well, I would like to be buried with you. <laughs> I look very Egyptian. For some reason, I'm thinking Egyptian. Like those are the first people I knew that I had cats. Hey, you pricks! You get to be buried with me. How about that? Oh, that sounds. That makes, that makes total sense, though. If like yeah, the, the ancient Egyptians having cats, it's a people who's like their leaders. Like, oh yes, no, I am actually God. Uh, give me my eyeliner. <laughs> I'll be walking around. <laughs> also, to keep the flies off me, I'll be putting the slave. I'll be dousing him in honey so that they fuck with him. <laughs> this is how I go about my day. So I'm more of a cat person than a dog person. Really. Also, Mr. Mittens gets to be buried in a place of honor right next to me. Tell him, Mittens. Somebody jerk off the. Cat. Also, <laughs> fuck the homeless. <laughs> I need a thing called a pyramid. Why, sir? You're already... I said I need it. Well, there's, uh, we could hire some people. Oh, I don't think so. What's that, Mr. Mittens? Mr. Mittens says to use a thing we call slaves. Just keep pumping them in there. And don't worry, there's plenty. <laughs> We've got all the money. We can do what we want. Uh, that really hasn't changed. No, that's just pretty much... I just summed up all of history. <laughs> you really did. Well, we've solved it. Uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I love... Uh, to put us on the goddamn moon and then Mars and we'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, buddy, we're poor and artistic. We're never going to Mars. Oh, we're not poor. We have each other. Oh. Oh, I'm going to eat you, and it's going to be delicious. Hold on, there's a peanut on the floor. <laughs> the farm is saved. Somebody's getting his birthday present. Uh-huh.
Which 80s movie was that? Howard the Duck. <laughs> Howard the Duck again. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> I uh, yeah, but I'm with you. I, I I loved Howard the Duck just because it was so stupid. Uh-huh. I mean, come on, it's he's he's a little smart aleck kid or er, not kid, but duck, maybe a child oh. in there. The Last Starfighter. Oh my god, I love the Last Starfighter because it was every kid of our generation's dream to get real good at video games and have that be the reason we could save the universe. And then have some sort of space armadillo and a real, real stupid accent come down and be snarky at us and say, no, you are our only hope, you fly this bitch. What can't you do it? I'm the space armadillo. I'm not the amazing nine-year-old kid with a shit ton of quarters. Well, well, the kid, he was like 16. Uh, Yeah, okay, he wasn't like nine. He was. Yeah, but no, nine was, uh, the nine-year-olds were the explorers. Oh! Yeah. They they turned the tilt world off. Yep, yep, and then they get taken in by a bigger spaceship and aliens, and they meet the alien kid, and uh, I was convinced that if I could just get my hands on some plutonium, I could get us to space. Turns out, no, I'm not good at science. No, no, you don't have to be. That's yeah. what the Manhattan Project taught us. You know, River Phoenix, River Phoenix was the, the star and the smart kid in that, so you thought maybe he'd have been better at chemistry than he turned out to be. Making Joaquin the normal one. Huh. Yeah. They grew up on commune. You know that, right? Uh, that doesn't surprise me. You need a lot of issues to be the Joker that well. It's just a shame that he... That, that his... Mm, never... Mm. There was a Heath Ledger joke, and I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. There was a what joke? A Heath Ledger joke. Oh, oh. Um. The wrong Joker died. Let's see. Okay, okay, we got that. Uh, I'd kill myself if I did in the Knight's Tale as well. Now hold on, hold on, hold. He's have a drug problem. The A Knight's Tale is a fun movie. It's not a good movie. It's a fun movie. Alan Tudyk in that is fantastic. And then, um... Uh, okay, okay. Oh, Ch- uh, the... God, what's it? Paul Bettany is Chaucer? Uh... Okay. So, it's not... It's not... Okay, I have to give it to you. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just couldn't come up with another Heath Ledger movie at the moment. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, uh, uh Ten Things I Hate About You. Ah, which is based on uh, Kiss Me Kate, which is based on uh, Taming of the Shrew. What's that? Huh? What'd you say? You broke up. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's not being recorded. <laughs> oh, see, I get to hear this again when I edit things. <laughs> and I can add whatever I want. I with me. You can't hurt me. I'm dead inside. <laughs> this is the part where Adam Ziegler <laughs> revealed his tiny, shriveled, sad second penis. <laughs> He's like a shark. He's got the pair of them. And they're both awful. <laughs> one is impressive and strong. The other one, shriveled, small, wears a monocle. <laughs> Carries a Tiny little. It has a. It has its own tiny scrotum, but it has a little money symbol on it. And they're both horrifically Republican <laughs> and mildly homophobic. <laughs> the second one is majorly homophobic. He makes it a point to ingratiate himself to people by saying, "You're one of the good ones." To at least three strangers a day. <laughs> It constantly screams, what can I call them? <laughs> That's actually, I just I just cannibalized one of my own punchlines so for that one. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. Yeah. So, I'm, I, am I proud of it? Yes, it's a great punchline. Am it I seems pr- like it. Am I proud that I just cannibalized my own joke? I, I'm okay with it, honestly. I, Let's just say repurposed. Well, I mean, am I doing it on stage right now? <laughs> No, because there's no stage. 
bridges anymore? No, they all burnt down and we're all sad and this is what I do now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just... Oh. <sighs> this got real heavy. Weed is legal and I'm still doing this shit. Right? Why don't we just get high and try this sometime? Dude, I, it was never really my... We might as well. I don't know if I can get it. I, uh... I've, I've never been much of a, a weed guy. I, I, the last time I smoked was easily like six, seven years ago. And like, before that, I couldn't even tell you. But I was just talking to the wife. I'm like, now that it's legal, when it first became legal, I'm like, let's get some gummies, because that seems like an adult decision. Let's get some gummies and just see what happens. And she's into it, but I'm like, and then the, the universe exploded. I'm like, ah. The dispensaries are still open, though, aren't they? I think so. But the one down here is, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't care enough to, to do much research. Plus, you have to, like, wait outside. I don't, I don't know. I, I, get, I get you. I understand. I just think instead of booze, I think we, we operate... We're both so functional on booze because we've had so much experience well, with it well, that I think it would be an interesting episode to just get, get real high. Not real high. I say that neither one of us can function real high. If we just got, like, moderately high. I'd be willing to give it a shot. The issue being, I have no litmus test or dipstick for what that would require for me to ingest. I, 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 I got nothing. I got talking nothing. of dipsticks, that sounds like you're talking about what I'm giving you for your birthday. <laughs> no butt fucking for me. Gotta remain socially distant. I'll wear a mask. And emotionally distant, which brings me back to dad. <laughs> Look, if you're facing the opposite direction and we're both wearing a mask, like, especially if the ones that have the zippers over the mouth, I think it's fine. <laughs> you know, I have one of those somewhere. <laughs> I, I actually do. I've made myself one as a prop for a Second City show. <laughs> of course you for, did. For a sketch that I wrote. It was, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, I thought it was funny. It was the only sketch in, in that show that had uh, dry ice effect. So that was... I constantly tell people my favorite, when they're like, what's your favorite sketch? And it's Lester's Tasty Donuts. Oh, never saw the light of day. Yes, it did. No, it did. Uh, you did it at Sketchfest. Oh, that's right. It and did. I laughed until I laughed until I couldn't breathe. Lester's tasty donuts. We've, We've got, got donuts to eat. Please don't rape us. Don't rape us. My favorite. It's my favorite sketch of all time. Are you sure that's what you want your the jingle to be? Uh, yeah. Do you want to be raped? No. Uh, and the donuts are tasty. Yeah, but still, but still what? <laughs> what that was? That's a long time ago. Jesus. Yeah, I forgot it, to actually put it on its feet once. It's it was it's just so good. It's so good. I've always wanted to when, when talking about doing sketches. I know I talked to you about just stealing it for a, a variety show. <laughs> like, what's your favorite sketch? I want to do this sketch. It was written by these people. Please let me do this. <laughs> well, I wrote that one, so you can have it if you want. Yeah. I I don't. I couldn't tell you if the script still exists anywhere. I remember it well enough. <laughs> That's what it was. We've got donuts to eat, please. Over here. I know what you're thinking. We've got donuts to eat. What does that even mean? I don't know. It's just the rhyme scheme. That doesn't rhyme. I'm not a jingle writer. <laughs> oh well. Hey. I think. Um... I think we... What have we learned today, Ziggy? Oh, God, are we having... Well, we've learned that this computer will go down quick in power. I'm staring directly at 22%, pal. All right. We've learned that you most likely not only enjoy cosplay drunk by yourself, but have masturbated to an anthropomorphic duck in your youth. Both of these things are true. <laughs> yep. I will confirm. Look, anything to put in the old spank bank before uh, smartphones uh, became a thing. And we just had 
twenty four seven access to to crank off material. To crank off material. <laughs> Gonna utilize my crank to catch some meat. <laughs> I love how as the sun has gone down, you've just been bathed in darkness. Yeah, uh, I didn't turn on a lamp, nor shall I. Uh, shall I try? I'm just gonna let this happen. Oh, there we go. It's an all skate, everybody. Partners only. Dance in reverse. I want some green light. It's not as horrible as the red. Here it comes. Get ready. Oh, that's just oh, purple. That's horrible. Purple rain. Purple rain. There it is. No, no, go back to the purple real quick. Like I. I it's gonna take a whole cycle. Oh, you can't just get back with you. Have to no, I have to actually go through the whole thing. Oh god, we need a picture of that one. You know what you know what you'll look like? You'll look like uh, if, if if vision became a hermit. <laughs> <laughs> I I look like hypertension <laughs> became a person. <laughs> and there we go. Oh and no! Red. It's so I red. Not red. Ah, oh, fuck, man. That's horrible. I can't watch. <laughs> it's, yeah, well, there, did there's... Did you buy this light for yourself, or did somebody buy it for you? Uh, I bought it for myself. Ah, oh, so I have nobody to blame. <laughs> no, just myself. That's all my problems. <laughs> what did you learn? Uh, what did I learn? I learned that you don't what like... You like? <laughs> nope. Me up a goddamn wall. Nope. We're just gonna <laughs> keep clicking. Watching it. There, we'll go with the green. Ignorant, fuck. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I look I'll like Sh I look like Shrek unshaven. With this Shrek green. Shrek unshaven is the shittiest country album to ever come out of Oklahoma. Shrek unshaven is my favorite porn parody. <laughs> Was it unplugged? No, unshaven. What does that even mean? I have no fucking idea. It's twang here. It's fifteen ninety nine. <laughs> Just buy it and move on. He won't leave us alone. The economy uh, needs help right now. I learned that you don't like red lighting. Not you in it, and not that fucking extreme. No, no, not at all. That bothers me. I thought you loved me no matter what. <laughs> well, now we both learned something. <laughs> I look like, now with the blue light, I look like Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf without his hat. Just <laughs> making dirty decisions. Papa Smurf who lost his hat making moonshine after dust. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be smurfing smurfy. I'm gonna smurf my dick off. <laughs> Sit down, Papa Smurf, you're drunk. <laughs> I'll tell you when I'm smurfing drunk, you smurfing son of a smurf. Don't engage him. He gets like this. <laughs> well, I'll tell you another thing. That Gargamel, he's just trying to help. Somebody get grumpy to smack this whole bitch around. <laughs> I'm a wizard! <laughs> and that's the only time you ever saw a gimpy smurf. Why? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> he just pulled his hat down and zipped it shut. He's got the same zipper mask, but also the stupid little white hat on top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, but, uh. <laughs> just, just all shoulders and gangly arms. It's very unsettling. And traps. I learned about traps. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I learned. Yep, and I learned that uh, that maybe red lighting isn't for me, or colored lighting at all, or lighting. Maybe I'm just better if I'm in the dark. Hold on. You're just, you're just a dark person. That's better. Yeah, I'm much more handsome when you can't see my face. Hey, man, join the club. Once you <laughs> lean into it, it gets real easy. I've leaned into it once, and my uncle gave me extra $10. <laughs> just go like this once. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> well, for a second, Larry, ignore a topic. Son of a bitch. What have we done? <laughs> <laughs> <See>. <laughs>